In the WordPress community, there's this guy, and he's become something of a legend. Joost de Valk, and I'm going to spell that J-O-O-S-T, is so famous that he's become known by a single word. It's almost the English pronunciation of his name, nickname. Joost, Y-O-A-S-T, is a big deal. Now, Yoast has written some of the most used WordPress plugins, including Yoast SEO, which is widely considered the gold standard of WordPress plugins for search engine optimization. How big a deal is Yoast? Well, search for Yoast SEO, and Google ranks the Yoast website at position number one. In fact, it ranks four different references to Yoast.com ahead of Yoast SEO's page in the WordPress repository. This despite the fact that the WordPress repository, which is where Yoast SEO began its trek to market dominance, is the best place to promote a WordPress plugin. Yoast is so big that the official name of his WordPress SEO plugin is WordPress SEO by Yoast, and WordPress doesn't allow the use of the word WordPress in product names. Yoast simply plays by different rules than anyone else in the WordPress universe, where not only WordPress publisher automatic, but most members of the WordPress community will treat you as a pariah for this behavior. Well, Kim Jerstad gives a little shout out to Yoast in his 360 degree marketing presentation for MailPoet at WordCamp 2013. But aside from the name drop, Jerstad had a very real point to make. WordPress plugin marketing has exposed a fallacy that's long been a staple of business projections. The idea behind thoughts like, you know, if we could just penetrate X percent of the market, that idea is no longer meaningful. Business has evolved, fragmented, and become in many cases so specialized that measuring success against the piece of a big pie doesn't mean a thing. Powerful stuff and largely true. I alluded to this in our previous piece. Sometimes your product isn't what you think it is and isn't what people believe it to be when they first come across it. As difficult a marketing conundrum as that may be, it's also emblematic of the base changes taking place in business today. I happen to have had a back and forth with a longtime client just yesterday about this very issue. What do you do when business is changing all around you and you don't quite understand what the changes mean? Well, the answer, of course, is you talk to me. The answer guy will get your business change and the way you implement and manage your business processes under control so your marketing can work as well as male poets. Or, if you prefer, you can just keep chasing unmeasurable and unattainable market share and market penetration numbers. It's your choice. I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.